you're in a room by yourself, locked in, surrounded by nothing but books, nothing else in that room except you and that pile of books, if you were in there for 10 hours, even if you hated reading, you would pick up a book and you would start reading. Now, imagine the same scenario, but there is a phone in that room. Now, you wouldn't gravitate towards the books, no. You would use the phone instead. Now, if you disagree with what I just said, you are lying. You are absolutely lying. And do you know why? Our brains will always graduate towards the thing that is the most stimulating in the room. Now, knowing this, that the thing that is more stimulating, we can use this to advantage. We can use boredom to our advantage. We can do things whilst bored. The guy who hated reading, well, he picked up the book and he read because he was bored in that room with nothing to do. Stick to the end of this video because I will show you and teach you how you can do the exact same thing for yourself and you can literally get all the things you need to get done just by being bored. You will always graduate towards the thing that is most stimulating. Now, knowing this, that means we need to set up, we need to set up our environment to be what we need it to be. Your environment must show you what you want to be. Anything can be made interesting, anything can be made boring. If your life, right, is very, very stimulating, it makes it very hard to do the things that are hard. It makes it very difficult to do the things that you need to do if your life is overstimulated. You've got so much cheap dopamine because the things that you need to do is boring. You don't want to do it. For example, if I if I show you. So if you have trying to study, but you have social media, your phone, video games, you have all of this in your room, you are going to gravitate to the most stimulating thing in the room. So if you're trying to study, but you have all of this in your room, you are going to move towards this. You're gonna do this and you're not gonna study. However, if we then get rid of all of that in your room, all the most stimulating things in your room, so the most stimulating thing that is in your room is studying, you won't gravitate towards anything and you will stay here. When studying is the most interesting thing, the most stimulating thing in your room, that's what you'll do. And this works with anything and everything. You can make anything uh, interesting and you can make anything boring. And this is something that I have personally relate to, right? This is something that I personally relate to a lot because there have been so many times where I've been sat in this very room on that very desk that you are sat on right now. Not literally, because I'd be kind of kinky, I ain't gonna lie. But like, on this very desk that you are on right now, I have tried to study. The night before my A-levels, it's like nine in the evening, and I've not done any revision for the weeks upcoming to this A-level exam. So I'm cramming everything until like midnight. I've tried to sit here and revise, but right next to me, right there, well, used to be, was my TV and my Xbox. So what I just do is just turn on the Xbox right before I sat down, not turn on the TV, but I turn on the Xbox, I was like, you know, it needs to warm up, is what I'd tell myself. God, I was an idiot. And I'd sit there and start studying. 15 minutes, 30 minutes go by, and I'd feel like, you know what? I'm a bit hungry. I'm gonna have a coffee break. I'm gonna have coffee, have a bit of food, come back. That Xbox controller is looking real nice, you know? You can probably guess where this is heading. That didn't do any revision. I gamed the rest of that night. So I crammed the revision outside my exam hall. You get there like two hours early, so you can just sit there and revise. And I actually did revision it. Do you know why? Because I had nothing else to do. Revising became the most stimulating thing around me. So I graduated towards that. I gradually moved towards that. And I actually did revision. Granted, it was 20 minutes before my exam and I ended up fucking up anyway. Minor details, minor details. Now you can do the exact same thing for you. This is how you can use boredom to your advantage. However, there is a problem. As always, it's not as good as it sounds. There is a problem. 
And that's what I think a lot of people have struggled with when they st first started on self-improvement. They first started on NoFap or like semen retention. You start, you do a couple days of self-improvement, NoFap, going to the gym, but then you snap back. You snap back to your old, your old ways, your, your old bad habits. You snap back and you stop doing the good ones again. And you will keep doing this. You will keep doing this no matter what. Even if you go through another cycle of trying to get back on self-improvement, you will always snap back if you do not structure your life correctly. If you do not structure your life to your mission, to your purpose. You need to set priorities in your life. Priorities of things that you want to get done that align with your mission or your purpose. I don't know what that is. For me, it is filming. It is working on this for you guys, right? I'm working on this for you because I wish I had something like this when I was younger. See, that's my mission, that's my purpose. So you know what I did? I structured my life towards it. In my room, I used to have an Xbox app, and now don't. The only thing I have in my room is my bed and my book, like my notebook where I write everything and my camera and my laptop, that's it. And I have nothing on that laptop except, except files for YouTube. And I, I don't really have a choice. I don't know how to use laptops well enough, so that's the only thing I can do on that. My phone's not even it. Downstairs. Actually, is it downstairs? I actually don't know where it is. Oh shit, did I leave it at the gym? Oh fuck. I have structured my life to my mission, to my purpose. Now you need to do the exact same thing, otherwise you will snap back. If you want to start revising, make that your priority. So, get rid of everything else in your room. Just move it away into another room. You don't need to go as extremes like sell your Xbox, sell your TV, sell your bed. Like, <laughs> you don't need to do that. Just move it to another room. Just focus on what needs to be done. And if that is the only thing stimulating in that room, then you will get it done because that is better than being bored. If you've been meditating for 10 hours straight and then someone gives you your homework, mate, you are gonna do that homework because it is better than being bored. By the way, don't meditate for 10 hours straight. I don't think that's healthy. Like you need food and shit. Your body needs nutrients. <laughs> I mean, you could probably do it, but would you be able to do it? Oh, now I want to do it. No, don't. That's a bad idea. I don't think meditating for like 10 hours straight is not healthy. I haven't researched enough into that. You are attracted to the most stimulating thing in your room. So whatever you want to get done, make it the priority. Make that the most stimulating thing in your room. So it's either that or be bored. And that is actually how you do what the things that you need to do. Look, man, if you're on self-improvement, you got this one. I believe in you. I believe in you. Now you just need to believe in you. Stay consistent and do the best you can. Love you, bro. I really get hungry. I don't know what I'm gonna have. You know what? I am gonna have a fork ton of chicken. You know why? Because I love chicken. Also, protein. My fingers smell of fucking bubblegum because I have bubblegum protein. God, <laughs> like pre-workout. Smells nice, you know? <laughs>